Ladies and gentlemen, joining us from sunny California, Mr. D. Ronnie Pitts. <laughs> I like that music, that's the Stanford fight song for, <laughs> for you folks who don't know. Uh, I'd like to thank the uh, Saginaw County Sports Hall of Fame for um, making this day possible. You've brought me home, uh, and you also did a great job of scheduling this during Stanford's bye week, <laughs> so I did not have to miss my team play. Um, you know, there's an African proverb that says it takes a village to raise a child. And uh, that's definitely something that I felt in my upbringing. I've been really blessed with a very supportive community, supportive parents, friends, family, all around me who have all shaped me into who I am today. I always looked at it as my job to make them proud, not to let them down, and to make sure that I represented for them. And in that community, it really started with my parents. I'm very blessed to have the great pair of parents that I do have. They not only supported me athletically, emotionally, but they, they really pushed me academically. Now, when I say that if my grades weren't good, I wasn't getting on that field, I'm being dead serious. It was really no A, no play. <laughs> and I, I pushed that a couple of times and tried them, and they showed me that they meant business. So. Um, I don't really think that I understood how important that was until now, because realizing that, you know, the rest of my life I'm never going to get paid to catch a football or to shoot a basket. Um, it's really about kind of everything that I've gathered intellectually, and I really want to thank my parents for pushing me in that way. Of all the athletic successes I had, uh, any touchdowns, any baskets I scored, nothing made me more proud uh, than when I graduated walking across that stage and seeing my parents on the other side. And they said, you know, good job, son. I'm proud of you. So thank you for that. This, this is an athletic award ceremony, so I, I have to talk a little bit about some of my favorite coaches. You saw them in those videos, and, and they mean a lot to me. First, I'll talk about Coach Durrett, who I'd really love to thank. He was my football coach, and he really taught me about setting my attitude. Every time you talk to Coach Durrett and you see him in the hallway, you say, hey, Coach, what's going on? He say, you know what? It's a great day to be alive. He'd tell you that every day. I mean, no matter what was going wrong, no matter if things were going great or not, he'd tell you it's a great day to be alive. And that attitude has really stood with me and, and it's something that I really believe in and it's kept me uh, able to persevere through tough times, either in sports, uh, academically, and also professionally as I enter into my career. He also taught me how to prepare for games. Now, this man, I watched so much film of other teams when I was in high school, I actually didn't even know this was legal. I thought that we were kind of cheating. <laughs> so I was like, man, we can, we can watch the other team before we play them. And I studied so much film and, and learned the tendencies of other teams that when I was in those games, I knew what they were going to do before they even did it. And that really helped my football career out tremendously because I actually knew the play that was happening as soon as they lined up. So thank Coach Durrett for, for teaching me how to prepare for games, and that also was something that I, I kept with me as I went on to college and helped me in my college career. My basketball coach, Coach Thomas, who you all know and who was also on the video, I, I really like to say that he taught me how to be a leader. Uh, you know, I played varsity for him from the 10th grade to the 12th grade, and I tell you, when I first started playing for him, I thought he was so unfair because he would push me so hard. And he, would, I, he wanted me to win every sprint. He wanted me to be first in every drill. I was the point guard, so I kind of was in charge of handling things for the team when it came to the offense and directing the team. And if I threw a pass to somebody and they dropped it, he would yell at me and say, Ronnie, why did you throw him that pass? You know he couldn't catch that pass. <laughs> And I always just thought that was just so unfair. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I loved him for it because 
he really taught me how to step up and be a leader, how to, how to take control and take ownership over how everybody was doing on the team. And I will never forget all of those things that he taught me and how they've helped me, not only in my sports career, but in business. Uh, when I'm working with other people, if, if things are going wrong, you know what, that's my fault. We should have set everybody up a little better. You know, if things are going well, I'm looking at my team and congratulating them and talking about what a great job we did. And that's something I learned from Coach Thomas and something that I'll never forget him for instilling in me. I'd also like to thank not just my parents, but my extended family. You know, I went very far away to college and a lot of times I probably didn't do the best job of keeping in touch with my family as, as much as I should. But when I came home, they were always there for me. They were always proud to say, you know, that, that was my nephew or that's my cousin out there playing ball. And they've always supported me in that way, whether it's, you know, sending me boxes of cookies to my dorm room or, you know, sending me food or taking care of me when I come home. And I really want to thank my family for sticking in there with me, even though sometimes I might have been a knucklehead and not really understood the value that they brought to me. So thank you as well. And then also, there's a, a, another arm of the extended family that I want to talk about, and that's just the people in the community who just really helped me a lot. A couple of families definitely took me in and allowed me to be their son, and I want to thank you as well. And lastly, since my wife couldn't be here, I want to thank her. She uh, never saw me play a down of football, never saw me shoot a basket, but she loves me all the same, and she's a very special woman to me, and I wish she could be here to celebrate this day with all of you. So thank you. <laughs>